what I did was I just threw a capo on my third fret and um, we're just going to play a G shape. So your middle finger is going to be third fret of low E, index finger, second fret of A, ring finger, third fret of B, and then your pinky, third fret of high E. Should give you a nice sounding G chord. Then um, for this drum pattern I was doing Real simple, so I'm just going down, down, up, up, down, up, down, down, up, up, down, up. All right, so it's going to go from there, from the G. So, so what we're going to do is we're going to strum when she comes in on the first line of the of the verse. there we're going to switch to E minor so your index finger is already where it needs to be on the second fret of A you're just going to bring your middle finger down here to second fret of the D and then we're going to strum and right there we're going to go to C now going to C, your middle finger now is where it needs to be on that second fret of D. You just bring your ring finger up to third fret of A, and your index finger hops down to first fret of the B. And we're going to strum the C chord. Right here we're going to go back to G again. Here we stay on G, and this is a continuation of that first verse. Right here, go to E minor, C. Includes the verse. Right there, we're gonna go to the chorus. It's kind of like, it sounds like a pre chorus to me, but I guess we will call it the chorus. So we're gonna go up to C. Right here, we've got a series of chords. We've got E minor, we're gonna do single strums. So we got E minor, D, G, and then G over B. Pretty much just a G chord, but you just mute out the low E. And then C. Then we're gonna do a C6. So this is an A minor, uh, so your ring finger will just come down here to that second fret of the G. You add your pinky up here on the third fret of the A string. We're going to strum that once, strum D, and then G. And that concludes the chorus. So just running that chorus again, because that's kind of a little bit tougher than the verse, I would say. So let's run the chorus.
So now taking a look at the bridge, um, so we've got all these chords. We've got E minor, C, G, then D repeating. So I'm using the same strum pattern, but I believe it uh, switches a, just a little bit sooner uh, between each chord here. So we've got... into a chorus there. So th this is all the pieces to the puzzle. I hope that helps you get a good start on this song. Go ahead, hit the like and subscribe, and I will see you on the next video.